In this video, I'm going to be sharing some of the books that I've found to be most helpful so far in my songwriting career. Hi, Ryan here at DIY Music Creator. Hey, who put a question mark in my teleprompter? Just kidding, I don't have a teleprompter. As a songwriter, I was not born knowing how to deal with things such as writer's block or dealing with the music industry, which can be confusing at times. A great song is magical to me and it's such a rewarding process to create something or be a part of creating something that touches on a piece of truth or an emotion. The first book I wanna share with you guys is Songwriters on Songwriting by Paul Zoyo or Zolo. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but he sat down with many of the most prolific songwriters in the history of recorded music to ask them about their processes and where and how some of their most well-known songs and some of the most beloved songs that we all know and love came into existence. A few of my favorite writers he interviewed in this book are Tom Petty, Bob Dylan, Brian Wilson, Leonard Cohen, and Paul Simon. It was so illuminating to look inside their processes because I learned many things that I never had thought about before. And when I came across things that I already had been doing, it gave me assurance and confidence to continue on my path. This book is full of insights from people who've written timeless classics and it can be helpful to anyone who wants to follow in their footsteps. The next book I wanted to recommend is called The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. I have it on Audible and I listen to it there. It's the type of book that you can read or put on for a few minutes anytime you need a swift kick in the butt to kickstart your creative process. If this book could be summed up in just three words, it would be just do it. He boiled down our procrastination, fears, and self-doubts to one word. That word is resistance, and it's the enemy we must defeat every day that we wanna be creative. We can more easily defeat our enemy when we're actually able to define what it is. And one of my favorite takeaways from this book was that at one point Steven said he doesn't care how much he gets done in a session or quite frankly, if it's even any good. All he cares about is that he shows up to the page and puts in the time and effort to try. I know I sometimes can agonize over not getting as much as I wanna get done or going through dry spells with a lack of inspiration. And uh, these are the types of things that can be out of our control to an extent. What we can control is making the decision to sit down and do the work. And oftentimes inspiration will show up while we fight through resistance and just get the process started. If you're getting value out of this, push the like button and subscribe. And tell me down below, what books have you been reading lately that have been helping with your songwriting? The last book I wanted to share with you is How to Make It in the New Music by Ari Herstand. I have the first edition. He has the second edition out now, which is updated with even newer information. How to Make It in the New Music Business is by far my favorite book for music business. This book is an absolute beast. Ari Herstand, the writer, has been helping give insights to other singer songwriters and artists through his blog, Ari's Take, for years now. And he finally condensed all that information into one book, and this is it. It goes over everything from building your fan base, to touring, to producing your records, to licensing your songs in TV, in film, and much, much more. As a musician, I've had trouble, you know, getting excited about the business part sometimes. And a lot of the books on the music business out there aren't even that relevant anymore, given the rapidly changing nature of the industry and the post-internet, post-streaming age that we're in. One day, this book will probably be obsolete too, but I think it's chock full of amazing information and action steps. 
not just from someone who has studied the music business from a scholarly perspective, but from a fellow singer-songwriter who's been in the trenches for years, putting into practice and developing and learning the techniques that he shares in this book. He also writes in a conversational manner, not afraid to use his voice. And this helps me to become more engaged in the content and relate to it better. If you can make learning about the business side of music not only approachable, but dare I say even exciting at times, you've won a fan here. As of this filming, you can even read the first 156 pages or so on Google Books, I believe, for free. So I'll link that down below so you can have a sneak peek. There you have it. Three amazing books that can help many singer-songwriters out there. I know they've helped and continue to help me tremendously. So if you like the video, please like it on the button and subscribe so that this content can be shared to more people and help them hopefully. And most importantly though, most importantly, keep making music. <laughs>